Hey you guys and welcome back to Clever News as part of our end of the year extravaganza. We <laughs> thought we would break down three new crazy intense storylines that you can expect on Pretty Little Liars when it returns. Ooh. I'm Katie Krause. This is Deidre Behar. Hi Beth. And you guys, Dana Ward is joining us. Hello. Yay. Of course, to talk about PLO. Obviously. Of course. <laughs> That's how we all met. Let's talk about this promo first of all. Yeah. What were your guys' initial reactions when you watched? <gasps> yeah. <gasps> So many I'm gasps. Um, a lot of really <laughs> crazy moments, but I'm really interested to see why Mona and Ezra were on like a lunch date of some sort. Why were they talking? Why are they hanging out? What are they talking well, about? I love that ABC Family decided and made the decision to really focus in on Ezra as being A. I mean, we were kind of left like, oh, he seems like he's A. We were, we went into his lair, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like because of that, maybe he's not. Like Ooh. ABC families try to trick us. Okay, but well, you're right. That was a really intense moment. Wait, so are you saying that you don't think like it could be a fake out? I think so. Well, I have a response to that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is it? Okay, so number one, the number one thing that we first want to talk about, you guys, is Ezra and Arya's relationship. Mm -hmm. First of all, producers have confirmed that this is not a fake out. Ezra is definitely <laughs> on the A team, team in some capacity. Is he A? Is he working with mm -hmm. someone? We don't know. But we do know is that he's going to be very dark this season. Uh, the EP Oliver Goldstick actually talked to Wet Paint and said, quote, Ezra is really wicked in 4B. If you haven't already, you're going to see a lot more. Be prepared because, yeah, it's good. And we also know that Lucy Hale was filming a scene yeah. in which she mm -hmm. was screaming, and crying. Oh my god. So Is no he fake out. Her? There's no fake out. He is could he be torturing her? My no. question. I don't think so. It's Ezra! You wanna believe I in your heart that it's love? Yes, Ezra I know. forever. E V A ever. I agree. I, I agree. Like that. And Marlene agrees too because she also retweeted a fan who said, Is there no hope for Ezria? And she said, There's yeah. hope. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Do you guys think that maybe Aria is A, and Arya could be working with Ezra, because I know she said before, A is for anonymous, A is for Arya. And she wears a necklace that has an A on it, obviously for Arya, but I, I mean, it's also for A. Oh my gosh. You and Mrs. Grunwald <laughs> also brought up that maybe Allie feels like she can't trust some of the liars in the last finale right. that we saw, so. I don't, I don't think know. Know. You're I don't really, know. You are really good at, poise, at posing all of these questions because every single time I think I think one thing, then I think the opposite. That's how I feel it's completely. Crazy. It's like I think I have something in my head that sounds awesome and then you throw out all these hypotheses and it's know. like, that could totally happen too. I feel like that's the thing with this show is that they throw us so many darn clues that yeah. anything can really go. Now here's what I think related to Ezra being part of the A-team. I don't think he's actually a part of it, but I do think he's being manipulated by the A-team, oh. which makes him a part of the A-team. That's interesting. Why do you because think he loves Arya. I bet Truthfully, the A-team is trying to do something against Arya. I really do think they they love each other. Like, for reals, guys. I really ho I hope, you guys, my <laughs> fingers are crossed. True. I hope. Yeah. I know also people are wondering if he's board shorts. Is he part of NAT? Oh, yeah. I guess we're going to find that out yeah. uh, in season four. B. What's his vendetta against Ali? That's what I want to know. It has to do with that Lolita book, I'm convinced. I think so, too. That's a really good, yeah. really good clue. Um, Moving we, on. Can we talk a little yes. bit about Spencer for a second? Is she a? She's my girl. I really love her uh, character on the show. Love her a lot. But I feel like we're going to be seeing a massive, massive personality change or something really major happening with Spencer during 4B. So basically, Troy and chatted with E! Online, and this is mm -hmm. what she said. Quote, what you're going to see in 4B is a very, very interesting secret that you never knew that we never talked about with Spence. It really, really affects her relationship with Toby and with the girls and it reveals a lot about why she wasn't passed out with the other girls the night that Allison died. Ooh. So I've always been wondering that, like where was she? She's kind of always MIA. Well, because or... she showed up mm -hmm. in the barn and the girls were all waking up and right. no one yeah. ever said, where were you? 
Who knows? They didn't think to. Ask the one question that we want the answer to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I was doing a little digging earlier okay. on Tumblr, and a lot of fans seem to think that Spencer could be A. She's oh. always on the run. She's the smart one of the group. She's got the mastermind kind of mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Jedi trick. She could pull off the unthinkable, I'm sure. And also, we have to remember that Spencer wasn't in the lodge when the fire was oh. set. So, okay, we just thought Aria could have been A. Now we think Spencer could be A. <laughs> Thoughts, comments, concerns? Well, this brings us to the diary pictures. I know you have all the details yes, on that, yes. but Allie really felt strongly about some of Spencer and Aria's specific characteristics. So true. Yeah. And really quick, before we get to the diary, um, there's so many details I know. Pia. So many. Hey, are you guys keeping up with us? Ah. Does your brain hurt? Um, <laughs> but bringing it really quick back to Spencer, you know, we all know Mona has the evil side. Mm -hmm. um, she's been connected to the A-team. Spencer was in Radley where Mona was, so we don't really know everything that went down in Radley. True. So maybe something happened there. Maybe Spencer switched sides. To the A team, something to think about. Oh, my God. that is also a but stellar creepy, point. But I'm scared. <laughs> as far as the diaries go, we were on, on Tumblr earlier and we found this amazing screenshot of Allie's diary open. Shout out to analyzing A. That's yes, the Tumblr site. Great, great job. Thank you for doing that for us. Um, so we basically learned that Allie didn't think that Aria was strong enough to trust. And that Spencer, Spencer was. is so smart and smarter than the rest of the group that she could handle something like this. Mm -hmm. So Yikes. it's kind of like maybe Spencer is a part of the A-team because oh. Allie felt that she could bring her in uh, to know all the secrets and what was going on and how she was getting harassed and everything. So maybe oh. Spencer knows more than she lets on. That very could possible. very well be. And we know possible. that she has no problem keeping secrets from loved ones. Yes. She's kept secrets from Toby, from her friends. I mean, sister, her and her sister yeah. have yeah. a very weird relationship. Dynamic. So true. And I know in some of the sneak peek photos that we've seen that ABC Family actually sent us, we see the girls with this diary oh, yeah. that we think is Allie's. The very <laughs> first, yes, the very first thing that I noticed when I saw these photos was, oh, there's a diary. Hannah has it first, and it looks like she's kind of handing it over to the other girls. P.S. Kind of creepy. They're in the mortuary when this is all going down. Maybe it's the only How place. I handle they all of these creepy places. Just a, just a quick the diary only, dissection in the mortuary. No it's big deal. It's probably the only place that they feel safe. Probably in the mortuary. How sad is only that? Only in Rosewood, I right? Not, I I do know that the girls are going to find out, or they're going to try to find out, who is actually buried in Allie's grave. Exactly, right. that's the title of this um, debut who's for the, the winter box. season premiere. Um, who's in the box is the official title. So we're just wondering like, hmm, what are they looking for in that diary? And what will they find in that diary? Because that screenshot was from a previous episode. Right. And we know so Allie hopefully we'll get a new one. wrote everything in her diary. Mm -hmm. She was an open book, yes. literally. And Marlene then, King actually yeah. tweeted, you guys, she said, quote, there's a B in the box, hashtag PLL yes. clue. What B? does B stand what does for? B? There's we've, a boy. We've been so stuck on A, now we have to think, now we're what thinking is about other B? letters. What if Wilden's in the box? There's a bee, there's a boy. Oh, oh that's a good thought. Because where's his body, right? We don't know where his body is or right now. Or maybe bee means body. Oh, oh. Body. A little more obvious. Yes, Marlene. maybe that's, that's a little better. Okay. Uh, so well, I just want to know what's going on with that diary. Or Byron. That's what Could I want to know. Could Byron die? What if, what if he's oh, going to die? Oh, I hope Byron's not dead. Chad Lowe, I love you. I know. <laughs> Uh, that's a thing. I mean, can we it talk could about be anybody? Can we talk about your interview with Brant? Yes. Oh, but Brant, Brant not be in there. <laughs> you guys, we talked to Brant Doherty. Around? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At Jingle Ball just a couple weeks ago, and he could not say too much, but he did say that the finale <laughs> of 4B is the craziest finale ever, even crazier than the big Ezra reveal. Take a look. When I read the script for the finale. I had no idea how they were gonna pull it off. There are some crazy things in there. Crazier than the last like winter finale? Crazier than everything in Pretty Little Liars ever. Yeah. What? I don't like it just so I want more clues. I know. I, I don't like it so tight lipped to secrecy though. Oh. So that makes me feel like someone's gonna die. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say one of the four main PLLers no. might just no. die. You know what? 
I'm gonna have to agree with you. I feel like the show's been on for such a while now. Something really drastic needs to shake us. I signed on for contract. I think they are too, but we were talking to somebody (laughs) earlier who told us, you know, Lucy Hale is pursuing her music career. Could be a convenient time for her to leave. Yes. What if it's Caleb and he's gonna become a ghost? That's another Reagan's good lip. theory. Yeah, see? Maybe. Great theory. I'd rather that happen than for Aria to Or know. if Spencer really is on the A-team, maybe yeah. someone is seeking some revenge. That could be. There let's, are so many theories. Let's wrap up. Before we let you guys go, <laughs> who, in one word, you can't explain, who yes. do you think is A? Oh, we're choosing? Yes. Uh, well, I don't think it's Ezra. Can I just say Mona? <laughs> That's a good choice. You could say Mona. You could say Mona. It's a safe choice. Okay. Who are you guys choosing? I'm gonna say Aria. Okay. A is Aria. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna say Spencer. I love her, but I've always gotten shady vibes. Uh, Always. A little. Yes. She's always MIA. She's very shady. Uh, Sorry. We want to hear from you guys, though. What are you most looking forward to seeing when the show returns, January seventh? Who do you think A is? Could Ari and Ezra be working together? Is someone gonna Uh, die? Is Spencer A? Let us know, like this video, subscribe, have a very happy new year, and we'll see you guys in 2014. Ah, Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching this awesome end of year video. We've got a whole lot more, so click this link to subscribe.